Hey, thanks for tuning in. So in this episode, I'll be showing you how to connect your ducted heating system or your cooling system to a smart controller or a smart thermostat, smart homes and everything. Specifically for this one, it's the Google Nest thermostat, which is fantastic because you can control your heating from the app while you're at work or wherever you are from the phone. All you need is an internet connection, so it's pretty cool that way. Now, before you get too excited, like I was, I went and bought the Nest thermostat and removed my thermostat that I had, my controller, and thought that you just plug in red into power and then black into ground, which was wrong. The first thing you have to ask yourself is, is your system connected to um, your heating through an analog or a digital signal? What I'm saying here is that you've got, say, I've got a Brivers system. It's being controlled by a Brivers controller. So that's proprietary technology or proprietary software controlling the thing. So most manufacturers don't want people just hooking things up. So what you're doing essentially when you're buying a Google Nest thermostat or an Ecobee or whatever is you're trying to tap into those signal that, signals that your thermostat sends so that you can control it using a different controller, which is pretty cool. So you can do that with the Brivers. So for me, I bought this Brivers analog interface, which is the Brivers 3529 analog interface, which changes the digital signals that are being sent from my heating system to the controller to an analog one. So it comes with this connector, which, which connects to my current system in the roof or wherever I have it. And then there's these here. So it's in two parts. So that, this harness, whoops, connects. So this harness connects to, so this harness connects to my current system. And then it, this bit will connect to the Nest thermostat. So for me, I only had heating, so I was just only using the W1, W2 side, this side. And then for those that want to do heating and cooling, you have to tap also into the Y side, which is pretty simple once you've got an interface like this because it's got all the instructions. When you buy it, it will come with the instructions. They make it pretty clear how to do it. So I'd say the first thing you need to do is do your research. Take off your controller, get the model number of your heating system, go on the forums, maybe comment down below, and then we can see how we can help you. Because you need to get all the information to see what system will work best for you. But this Nest thermostat worked really good for my Brivus system, so should be good for Brivus. I bought this for about, I think 150, I think, this analog inf interface, so you have to ring up Brivers and ask them if this is compatible with your system. They're coming out with their own smart controllers these days, but hopefully they're still making adapters like this at Brivers. And the other thing you'll find out is sometimes companies like Ecobee or um, other providers, other smart home providers, they will be more compatible with your system than with Nest. So do your research first before you make that investment into buying uh, the Nest thermostat or any other thermostat so that you don't put out too much upfront investment before you know everything that you need. So all in all, I spent about, so I spent about 200 bucks on this uh, thermostat and then 150 bucks on the controller. 
So it's good to know that you can spend 350 and you're done. Whereas if I had bought the wrong system and it wasn't compatible with my Brivus, I'll be down 200 bucks. And then that will cause problems. Connecting it to the wall, attaching it to the plate, that's pretty easy. It's got um, this. So you'll need a flat screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. When you buy a Nest thermostat, it comes with instructions inside, but essentially what you're doing is you're attaching this plate onto your wall and it comes with a metal plate inside, which you first attach to the wall using some of those plastic housing for screws so that it attaches to your wall or if you have pre-existing holes then you're laughing ah, sting. There you go. okay so this is what it looks like inside so you're gonna have this plate you're gonna need to attach that plate to your wall this side facing up then you attach the cover plate to it. Once you've got that cover plate in, then you can attach the harness housing or the thermostat housing. Then do up the screws and then you put it in. It's pretty simple. It will take you about, say, between routing the wires and everything, maybe 30 minutes. So it's pretty simple. The only thing that may take a bit of time is you've got extra wires now coming from wherever your heating system is. So say how I say before that you've got these wires here, your 24 volt uh, power supply R, W1, Y, or W2, grounds and then comms. That will be my, be mindful that that will be coming from your roof or wherever your heating system is located or your, your, your main computer for your heating system is. So just be mindful that you need some length of cable to transport these signals and you'd need the right cables to do that. So you're looking at about maybe doing like, I don't know, 10 meters of cabling for say five different signals so that's what might take most of your time but once you've done that then you'll be smiling there's not much to do and honestly for the effort it's really worth it because you can control this from anywhere and you can control your usage you can put child control on it parental lock on it help skip those energy bills down in summer or in winter and the beautiful thing also about it is that, say you're at work, you don't want to get home to a cold house, you can start it heating like 15 minutes before you get home so that just as you walk in, it's nice and warm. Or before you wake up, say 15 minutes before, you can time it to start heating at that time, which is pretty awesome for 300 bucks living in the future, you know? it helps save your energy bills will go down drastically because it just controls, say you just want it to just constantly be at like 24 or 21. It does it perfectly. This thing is awesome. So do your research first, find out what your system uses, digital or analog signals. It's pretty simple. If you put out, pull out your controller from the wall or wherever it is, just have a look at the wires going in there, but don't rush to assume that if it's got a red and a black wire, then, oh yeah, just plug it in. Do your research, do some search on the forum. And if you want to be risky and risk it, buy the thing and plug it in and see what happens. But from experience, it, it won't work that way. You might end up shelling out more than you plan to, but, it's a pretty awesome thing. So if you want to get that, that's the Brivus analog interface. For any other system, 
it's the same procedure. Find out what signals it's sending, analog or digital. If it's digital signals, you need to dumb it down for the Nest thermostat so that it understands those signals and then it can work. But if it's sending digital signals and it doesn't understand what your system's saying, then it won't work. Simple as that. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Till next time.